Hi, I'm Rob Swan. Uh, today we're here at Partridge Lakes Fishery doing a feature with Match Fishing Magazine, fishing micros and expanders on the pole for skimmers. So I thought I'd do a little video and talk you through what I'm doing. Show you how to hook the expanders. Just like this. Through the barrel to on the side and then just roll it on. Just like that. I've just been fishing, feeding a mixture of F1 sweet and XL carp pellets, dynamite bait, just filling the pot and just tapping them in loose. We've been fishing a while and we started at 11 metres. We've caught probably about 15 or 20 skimmers and a carp and an F1. <coughs> um, and then it just went a bit quiet really, so just got the plummet on and re plumbed up at 13 metres and we've just had another four or five skimmers just in one after another. Just tapping them in loose. It, we'd begun, when we started off, we started with a big, like, sort of like a big pot. Not a full one, probably about a third of a pot of micros and a few grains of corn. Um, and that, that was good to start off with. And then we sort of played about with the feeding and eventually we started foul looking a few by feeding it loose. So we just started putting it in little tight balls and that worked um, just to try and keep them down on the deck. As we're catching loads of roach as well. Got one on now. But it was a case of feeding, not feeding after every fish sometimes. A little roach. And sometimes you have to feed after every fish. You just gotta sort of feel your way in feel your way into it. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can get another. So just if you're catching a roach, you you're not gonna you gotta have to feed some if you wanna catch a skimmer. That's sort of you gotta try and if them skimmers aren't there, you've got to try and pull them into your peg with a bit of bait, so... Ship out. I've just got one of the little 0.2 gram Guru wire pingers on at the moment. That seems sound in this wind. It's not actually catching us on this peg, so it's sitting nicely. You don't, when it's difficult as well, it's not solid, so you want something a bit lighter, so it's sort of just a bit, bit more finesse, really. We've got a 0.4 set up as well, which we can use if it was windy or if it was solid, but it's not towing through or anything, so... Nice and light, and you catch them roach as well because they're gotching loads through the through the water as well. Yeah, so you can nail one. Ooh, another roach. <laughs> Decent stampers though. I think it's a roach. Ooh, it's a skimmer. Woo! Get in. There we go. Six ouncer. Yay! Get him in the net. Lovely job. Shotting wise, I'm just fishing. Smart. Just like a, just a bulk, really. It's only four number nines. Just spread out a little bit above your hook length. You don't want it to be too. I don't think there's any need to really string it out, and there's no need to bulk it right down. So just, just so it sort of looks nice when you put them on is about right, and then I've just got a six inch hook length, one of the ready tides that Guru do. It's 013 to a 16 super, no, a 16's F1 pellet, nice and light. Perfect for commercial silvers, perfect. Right, this could be the last fish of the day. Another nice skimmer from Holbar. Only a little one, but a beauty all the same. Could be a little hybrid that one actually, but yeah. Proof in the pudding just how good fishing micros and expanders are in commercials. Go and give it a try.